Hi, and welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna teach you how to make one of those super popular chunky knit blankets using only your hands. You don't need tools. You don't need to know how to knit. Um, you could just need a flat surface, some yarn, and your hands, and this is how you do it. I'll teach you everything you need to know. We're just gonna start by making the slip knot and then doing our basic chain stitches here, which is just putting, pulling it through just like that. I'm not going to give an amount of chains that I use to make this blanket because it varies so much depending on how loose you knit or how tight you knit, how you know the size of your finger, your hands, everything, and even the yarn that you're using. It all just depends. So I'm just going to say that this this blanket is going to be 27 inches by 27 inches. My goal is to have it's just like a little lap blanket for my dot my newborn daughter. I'm thinking about the winter months coming up and just having an, a cute little blanket to put on her lap while she's in her car seat. Just, you know, things like that. So um, here we're just doing our chain stitches here and I just keep measuring and um, getting it to just the right size that I'm looking for. And then once I'm happy with the size, we're going to start the actual knitting. So now that I have it to the length that I'm looking for, I'm just going to start the knitting part. So we're going to skip the first loop and go into that second one there, just like that. And you just stick your fingers through, feed the yarn up through and make little loops through that top little section of the the yarn loops like our chain stitches so you just go all the way down to the very end making sure that you don't skip any loops if you do it'll mess up the whole blanket i've definitely done that before gotten to the very end of a blanket and realize it realize that i missed a loop down you know anywhere in it and you have to unravel the whole thing which is no fun so just make sure that you don't skip one go all the way to the end just like that and then you'll skip that first loop and go into the second one to start your second row of stitches just like that and you're going to do that exact same thing until you're happy with the length of your blanket that's why I said I wasn't going to give a certain number of stitches that you should do because you can just make it whatever size you would like here I'm going to show you, this is if you run out of yarn, you just tie the other skein onto it just like that. And then just do, the trick is just doing your best to try to hide it on the back of the blanket. Hide those little tails on the back. And then at the end, you'll turn your blanket over once you're done knitting the whole thing and cut the little tails off so it's not as obvious. But you just keep going, like I said, until you're happy with the length of your blanket. This is my favorite way to knit. It's so simple, no tools, and the blankets work up really quickly. So I'm gonna show you how to finish the blanket here. You take your, whenever you get to the length that you would like, you take those first two loops and just loop the yarn through just like that and that's how we're giving it a nice finished edge and making sure it's not all going to fall apart really really simple to do and you just do that all the way down until you get to the last two loops and then you get your last two loops feed the yarn through cut off make sure you leave a nice long tail make a little knot there at the end just to secure it and then you're going to flip your blanket over and just weave the ends of the tail into the back so you can't see it 